You don't have to break it down, I heard you. Nice to see you too. May I enter? Oh, well, that depends. You have probable cause. What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I live here. What are you doing here? Investigating a murder. She has this ability, which is actually a real ability, um, called highly superior autobiographical memory. And it's total recall, essentially. Not Linda Perini. Linda Perini? EMT, 5-6, annoying lisp. That girl you always said you were going to leave me for? It's her blessing and her curse. Because as a homicide detective, you see a lot of gruesome things. Um, and, but the memory also makes her an extraordinary cop. You left me, by the way. And that wasn't a reason. That's right. It's because I'm an obsessive cataloger of people's faults who stores sights and injuries like some kind of freak bulldog who will never let go unless you forcibly break her grip. Don't look at me like that. You said it. I never said that. August 14th, 2002, 2.36 a.m., hot night, no rain. So she struggles with that. When we meet her, she's, she's left the force and her ex-boyfriend, played by Dylan Walsh, brings her back in to help him solve a case that he can't solve. Are we supposed to hold hands or something? Chanting, I, am so I think that it has more of a, of a superhero element to it than just a cop element. She's got this gift that no one else has, and it really does exist. That's what I love. It's not, we didn't make it up. I mean, we've taken some creative license, absolutely, but this is actually an ability that people have, very few people, but they have it. And I like the way it's been applied to a procedural world. But it lends a sort of fantastical quality to it. The way they show the memory in a visual way is really quite extraordinary what they're doing in the pilot and in episodes after. Very difficult to shoot, very complicated, but they, they really show how she walks around her own memory and looks at herself and looks at the things that she saw and dives right into it. Mm -hmm.